Hey guys, welcome to Zeus Fitness. Today we're gonna to do another 50 dumbbell exercise, no repeat workout. So grab your dumbbells and get ready to rock. Each exercise is gonna be 30 seconds long. And again, it's no repeat, we'll be doing lots of variations, hitting every muscle group in your body. So we're gonna start with an overhead lunge. And we're gonna start with a left leg here. So we're gonna bring the right hand up above our head. And we're gonna step out with the left leg and lunge down with the right. And away we go. You gotta engage your core, keep your back nice and straight. You can't tilt your body forward onto the front leg to take the weight for you. Stop, now we're gonna swap it. Gonna bring it up on the left hand. Right leg's doing the moving, left leg's going towards the floor. And away we go. Stop, okay, up next, we've got a push up with rotation. So, I'm gonna start with the left hand here. So dumbbell on the left hand, we push up, and then rotate the hand upward towards the ceiling. So, push up, and round like so. Stick with the one side for 30, and then we're gonna swap it over. And stop. Now I'm going to swap it over onto the right. So high plank position. Three, two, one, and go. and stop good job up next we got boxing so we take the dumbbells in our hand the guard position and we're going to jab and cross so And stop. Up next, we've got a half get up. So, we're gonna take the dumbbell on the right hand, bend the right knee, left leg out to the side, left hand up the, out to the side, and then we crunch up on their forearm, then up on their hand. Up and I'm swap it over. So, right hand out the side, right leg out to the side, dumbbell on left hand, left knee bent, and we crunch up onto the forearm, and then up onto the hand.
next up, up next we got our figure of eight lunges. So it's a back lunge, dumbbell in right hand, we pass it to the left hand. When we step back, and we step three, then we go to the left leg, pass it three, and repeat. Up. up next, we got windows. We bring the dumbbells up like so, elbows up high and down the shoulders, and we just open and close. We gotta keep those elbows up. Up. Okay, up next we got a decline press. So we get down for a chest press, we come up into a bridge and we press up slightly in front of us. So we squeeze the pecs in, keeping that bridge. Up. Good job. Up we come. We're going to single arm swing next. So take the dumbbell. You're going to go head of the dumbbell between the legs and use your hips to drive it up and you rotate the dumbbell as you swing back up. So just replicate the kettlebell swing with one arm. Stop, now we're going to swap it on the other side. So dumbbell going inward and drive those hips up. Up. up next, we got a squat and do an overhead tricep press. So, cup the head of the dumbbell like so. We're going to do a squat down and up and do an overhead tricep press, just like so. Up. Okay, up next we got alternate rows. So we'll get down to bend over row position and we're gonna row with the right, then up with the left. Right, then left. Trying to let the arms lock out. So your shoulders stay in line with your back. Nice flat back. Right. And stop up next, we got battle bells. So this is replicating the battle ropes, okay? We're in a semi squat position and we rapidly bring these dumbbells up and down like so. Uh, 
Up next, we're gonna combine a wall set with a bicep curl. So we're gonna keep those triceps against the wall in the wall set position. And we're gonna curl them up and bring them back down. So your butt is just about parallel with the knees. Triceps don't lift off the wall. Straighten the arms out fully. And step. Good job, up we come. So, up next, we got an isometric tricep extension. So we're gonna hold this one flexed, and we're gonna do a single arm kickback on the left. So the right one stays contracted as we isolate the left. Then after 30 seconds, we're gonna keep the right one elevated and extended. The left one, and then we move the right one. And stop, okay, so this time we got the left arm fully straightened, and we move with the right one. So fully straightened, so the tricep is contracted at all times, and then we do reps with the right. That left one straight. And stop. Good job. Okay, up next, we got cherry pickers. I just took myself into this one. And we're going to lie down. Dumbbell in hand. Left arm out to the side. Pick the feet up towards the ceiling. Straighten the legs back out. Swap over side. On the way we go. Stop. Good job. Okay, now up next we've got a knee to elbow. So we're going to tuck the dumbbell in the fold of the knee. Bring the knee up just up towards your elbow. So there should be a right angle between your hamstring and your calves and a right angle between your quads and your abs, keeping your back nice and flat. Now you just go as far as the knee. You don't fully straighten it, obviously, or the dumbbell will drop. A small range of motion. That'll really fire up those glutes. And stop. Now we're going to swap it on to the other side. Do the same. So, in the fold of the knee, make sure it's in there nice and tight. And come here, knee towards elbow. Try and keep the core strong and the back flat. Doing this one. And stop. Up next, we're going to Superman extensions, but we're going to tuck the dumbbell in the fold of the left knee, take the dumbbell in the right hand. And we lift with the right as we lift with the left leg. And 
next up, swap it over. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. And away we go. and stop and before we take a breather we're going to do a V crunch with the dumbbell so we put the dumbbell between the feet squeeze it together bring the dumbbell on the hand and we crunch up and back down And stop. Okay. Right, guys. Gonna hit pause. Gonna grab a quick drink, shake it off, come back, and do some more. Okay, guys. We're back in the game. So we're gonna take one dumbbell here, and we're gonna do a side lunge into a curtsy lunge. So we start in the goblet squat position. We side lunge out to the right into a curtsy lunge and repeat. Okay. In three, two, one. Away we go. And stop, now we're going to do the other side. In three, two, one, and away we go. And stop, now we're going to grab both dumbbells and we're going to do side jack raises. So, we step out and do a jack, back, step out and do a jack on the other side. And away we go. And stop. Up next, we got alternate chest press. So we're gonna lie flat on our back. Chest press position. And we're gonna go right, then we're gonna go left. Stop, up we come. Now, we got gorilla curls, so we get down in the gorilla position, so it's like a sumo squat position, and we curl the dumbbells up just like so. So the shoulder of the elbow stays nice and still. Quite similar to a bent over curl, and you're not aiming for your temples on this. You're getting down deep into a sumo squat. Just curl them up towards your face. And stop, 
up. Up next, we've got alternate skull crushers. So, we lay flat on the back. We're gonna keep one arm elevated. We're gonna bring this one down past the ear, then send the other one down the other side. Up we come, up next we're gonna do a windmill. So we take the dumbbell in the right hand, get the feet double shoulder width apart, point the left foot out to the side, left hand down by the side of the thigh, and we drag the hand down past the outside of the left knee. As we do that, we're gonna rotate the head of the dumbbell forward, and back up and return to starting position. Stop. Now we're going to swap sides. So, feet double hip width apart again. Right foot pointing out to the side. Left hand up. Right hand on the straight right leg. And we dip the right hand down past the outside of the right knee. Up. Okay, up next we got uppercuts, so we're back to a bit of boxing. We take the guard position and we're going to drop and drive, drop and drive, and away we go. Up. up next, we've got a wall set hammer hold. So what we do here, guys, take the dumbbell out like so, hold it there in a wall set position, and hold for 30 long seconds. And stop, good job, up we come. Up next, we're gonna do a back lunge high knee using just the one dumbbell. So we're taking the goblet squat position, going with the right leg. So back down and up, jump up with the dumbbell tucked in to your chin. And stop, shake it out. Now we're going on to the other side. So, going back with the left leg, and let's go. And stop. Okay, up next we've got dumb waiters. So take the dumbbells like so, keep the elbows in tight, and you're gonna open up the chest and bring them back in. Keep them about six inches apart when you bring them back in. And 
next up, up next, we got a pinch pullover. So grip it between the palms with the thumb above the handle, squeeze and pull it through. So thumbs are not underneath the handle, they're over the top, just like in a pinch press. But what we're gonna do here, keeping those pecs squeezed, we're gonna bring the dumbbell over the top, getting those lats involved, and getting a good tight squeeze in the pectorals as we do it. And stop. Up next, we got the high plank and the Superman extension. So we're in the high plank position. And what we're gonna do is raise the left up, down, raise the right one up. Try and keep those hips as steady as you can by engaging your core. And stop. Up next, we go crazy with an alternate high press. We get the dumbbells up like so. We punch up towards the ceiling one at a time. And away we go. This will be done fast paced. Stop. Okay. Up next, shoulders got a breather with a calf raise. So what we're gonna do? Dumbbells down by the side. You're gonna lift up your toes, roll up into a tight calf raise, roll back, and back up into a calf raise. Stop, up next we've got some shrugs. So just lifting the traps up, rolling them back, and repeat. Really focusing on the traps here. There's the shoulders up towards the ears. Roll them back. Stop. Okay, up next we got a tabletop kick up. We're gonna pop the dumbbell on our hips as we did. So we raise up like so, don't let the butt touch the floor, and we lift the hips as we stretch each leg individually. Again, don't let the butt touch the floor. You're not kicking the leg up, you're simply straightening it out so the femur bones are aligned with each other throughout. By adding the dumbbell, it just adds a little bit more pressure on the bridge. A little bit more resistance. And stop. Okay. Up next, we're going to go into the side lateral raise. And we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. This will be horrible. And let's go. And stop. Good job. Okay, we got shoulder openings next. More shoulder work, unfortunately. So take the dumbbells like so. We're gonna raise them up above the head, down to the side, into almost a chest fly in the middle. And repeat.
and stop. Up next, we got a split press. So what we're gonna do, rest the dumbbells up here and we're gonna press up as you go into a dynamic split squat, staying on the right side. Up, shake it out, now we go on to the left side. So you're almost jumping into this one, guys, as opposed to back lunging. And three, two, one, let's go. And stop. Up next, we got a single arm snatch. So, we're gonna take the dumbbell like so. Gonna snatch up into a squat overhead and repeat. And stop, and the last one on the left side. And three, two, one, let's go. And we're done. Whew. Uh, uh, and that completes the third in the series of the 50 dumbbell no repeat exercise workouts. Hope you guys enjoyed. Click below the subscribe button, notification bell, so you never miss this fitness workout again. Check out all our videos. We'll be real, back real soon some more of the same content, so stay tuned and thanks.